some people who were just genuinely curious in my last um top five worst hero video for 2019 it was a lot of people who are just genuinely confused and wanted more information and stuff like that so we're gonna be watching some some veil gameplay and like everybody like yo veil why don't you upload gameplay hey hey this was when mobile legends was playable in north america but let's let's check it out so um let, let's oh hell no he, he gotta shut up they, they gotta talk too much <laughs> I stay getting comments like that. Hey, you talk too much. Uh, commentary channel. And by the way, listen. When she shoots it up in the air, I guess, and it falls down and slows the enemies down and stuff like that and damages them. This was my, like, third Mobile Legends video ever. So, just, to, just so you know, and it's like, how long is this video? 11 minutes. So... I've been a commentary talking channel since the beginnings for two, three years now. So th this is all I have ever done. This is a commentary channel. We talk about things going on in Mobile Legends and we just talk about random stuff. So, I mean, come on now, saying I talk too much. You're just not realizing this. You can go back to my first video and see that. But um, anyway, <laughs> we're gonna be talking about one of the biggest things that's happening in the Mobile Legends. So if you weren't here at the beginning, you might not be noticing the signs right now. So I gotta explain it. So everyone was talking about, as usual, how um, there's no bad heroes and stuff like that. And basically, um, basically, why not? Just, if if Mincitor is gonna be that huge of a problem, why not just ban him? But that's the thing. In Mobile Legends, what happens with the community is the community focuses more on heroes than they focus on strategy and and other things. And while I'm talking about one thing, everyone else is thinking I'm talking about a hero in particular. So when I brought up Mincitor, everybody was like, just ban that hero. It's not that hero that's the problem. So let me let me explain it this way. Look on the map right now. Okay, but this is perfect. That was a perfect moment right there. Perfect moment to pause the screen. Pause it. All right. Let's look at this. These are some of the most powerful heroes in the game at this time. Let's see how many, how much crowd control we have. Chow. We're going to start here. Chow. No crowd control. Zylong, not, not, well, he, little, minimal crowd control, minimal crowd control, neither one of them has stuns, N um, Natalia, same, no stun, um, he has like that, he has the same ultimate, I'm pretty sure he has the same ultimate, or did he get buffs, or did he get changed throughout the years, I don't know, but he, ha he doesn't really have any crazy crowd control, Layla, she has a slow, no crowd control, um, over here, we have Franco, not really crowd control, um, we have, um, Ballman, Still, uh, again, like so. Basically, you you seeing my point? We have no crowd control. We have no crazy stuns and stuff like that. So at this point, the stun meta had not come yet. The, the stun meta wasn't here. The stun meta, the slow meta, basically the meta that we're in in Mobile Legends today, like the meta has shifted. And what what happened with this shift is we start seeing heroes being released. Like Alpha, Alpha was released. He had the he had one of the first like dangerous freaking stuns. Then Ruby, Ruby came along, Ruby got released. She had a stun as well. Cyclops, he basically has a big stun with his ultimate. Then um, who else? We got Hylos, Hylos was released, he has a stun. Moskov was released, he had a crazy stun. So basically the skill effect stun, Mobile Legends start adding heroes with that skill effect in Mobile Legends. They started adding a lot of heroes with that effect. And then I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they might have modified older heroes and gave some of them stun effects. Like Gord. Gord has a stun effect, um, and they, that was given to him. So, my point is, it's not, when I talk about Mincitor, it's not about the hero itself. It's the fact that they just added that grounded effect. So, at one point in time, like Alpha, Alpha for instance, that's like, that's like me saying, that's like me saying Alpha's gonna change everything, but everyone thinks that i'm talking about alpha the hero when in reality i'm talking about alpha being one of the first ones with stuns and now all the heroes in mobile legends almost got stuns so that alpha was like pretty much the starting point for all these stuns in the meta right now now we have mincitor who comes here with this whole new effect that's basically grounded he basically shuts down assassins and stuff like that 
I see him as alpha right now. So because I've seen it happen before, I've seen it happen with one hero. One hero came along with, with a crazy stun, and then every other hero in Mobile Legends started to adopt that stun. So that's where I'm thinking that the community is going to go again. I'm thinking that we're going to see um, the same thing happen that's happened before in Mobile Legends. I think that we're really going to see um, this new effect start to be... Um, be given to more heroes and, and by the way everybody was saying you just don't know how to play me and you don't know nothing about me but look at this I, this is me if you go, go actually go to my channel go click on the video section and go prioritize my videos to my oldest videos my my first three gameplays mia xylong and um yeah mia xylong and layla like all the heroes that i talk about are bad right now You'll notice that some of most of these heroes are the heroes that I used to play all the time. What happens in a MOBA is things change. They add things like new stun heroes. The meta changes. The meta shifts. So you have to shift. You have to have a shift in the characters that you use. Otherwise, you're just going to be trash and not understand why you're trash. And that's that's the problem. Like a lot of people, they they go into games like, oh, I'm I'm doing good with Zylone. I'm doing good with these heroes. I'm doing good with Mia. Bell doesn't know what he's talking about. They're, they're not bad heroes because people do not understand. And I'm not saying that they're bad heroes. I'm saying they're not good for your team. Just because a hero is good does not mean they're good for something. They're, they're not good for anything in comparison to this meta. Because Zylong, for instance, can't jump in the middle of a team fight. Now, there was one point in the meta where Zylong was immune to crowd control. He was crazy in the meta. He was really good. Like, they wanted Zylong to be nerfed for that reason. Zylone could not be hit by crowd control. If Freya jumped on him, he wasn't getting stunned. If Alpha jumped on him, he's not getting stunned. Zylone could not be hit by crowd control, and he was super powerful in the meta. Now, if that was still the Zylone we have right now, he would be very, very prevalent. But it's not. But anyway, like so, so this new effect, the new grounded effect that's been introduced with Mincitor, I think that that's what's going to ha play a big part in changing everything. I feel like we're going to see that effect on a lot more heroes, which means that, that a lot more heroes are going to be able to basically shut down assassins, or it's not even really shutting down assassins because it's limited. It, they're only shut down and they, they can only just not run while the while that's active. But look at like what just distracted me right now is Lord. I forgot Lord used to be right there. <laughs> I forgot Lord used to be right there. That's dope. But um anyway, yeah. So basically. I think that a lot of people are getting it confused, thinking that I think Mincitor is just basically going to come in wrecking everybody. I'm worried about all the heroes that's coming next that's going to be shutting down assassins and stuff. Because assassins, I don't feel like they're going to be as powerful because there's going to be more counters to them. And that's why I'm saying I don't think Fanny is going to be um, as dominant in the next meta, in the, in the new meta, simply because she's one of the heroes that everyone has always been talking about. So they're going to pay special attention and details and to the details and basically make heroes that has effects and stuff that counters fanny so it's not just about a one hero type of thing so imagine you have like because right now in mobile legends teams we'll see like three heroes on a team with stuns right imagine you have a team with three people with grounded how are you going to use an assassin against that team now yes if one person has grounded on your team and your whole team is by them it's annoying enough to put up with one person who has the grounded effect but what if three, three and four people on your team all have that same effect? That completely, that's a, that's a completely different meta shift. And it's kind of, this is what happened before. Like before I could use heroes like Mia, Layla, Xylone, like no, nothing was, there, there was no problems using these heroes because there was nobody who was stunning or anything like that. There was nothing to counter. There was no reason not to use these heroes. But then they started to, the, the stun meta came along which made marksmen become a little bit more useless. Now they have a bunch of heroes with crazy mobility, crazy speed who can dive you. Like before, Saber was the only hero who could just dive in and dive you. And Fanny, of course. Fanny could dive in and go crazy on you. Um, but um, yeah, Saber was one of the only heroes who could do that. Now look at all the assassins we have, man. We got Hellkurt. We have um, Hellkurt. We, we have Hellkurt. We have um, who else? Lancelot was released. Gaussian. We have so many assassins that can just come in and dive you out of nowhere. And th those 
like all those heroes didn't exist before so this is what i'm trying to tell people who, who um like and, and honestly i know that the majority of the people who are saying layla and mia and Zylong are good a lot of you all probably have not made it past like grandmaster or epic maybe and um that, like in those basically if you don't know when you're in the super low elo like when you're in a really low elo anything you do will work any absolutely anything you do will work because nine times out of ten the players are not very good simply because you don't have access to the best heroes in the game like when you're that low of an elo no one is running around using goshen or using him well you're not going to go up against a good fanny you're not going to go up against a lot of good players using a bunch of different types of heroes so that's um that's one thing you got to keep in mind so it the meta is different for people so a lot of the disagreement comes from people who don't understand that the meta changes based on like the level that you play at but overall certain heroes just will not work and i hate i hate that honestly because mobile legends does not prepare their players to be playing against like really really good players because you don't get to experience going against gajan before you hit the top rank you don't get to experience going against a good fanny before you hit the top ranks then once you hit those top ranks you're just getting smacked all the time you thought you was good this whole time using layla zylong and heroes like that when all these other heroes that you've never played against are actually insane so it's like mobile legends doesn't do a good job at preparing people for what's to come once you as you start to become better and that's why we have so many teammates and stuff that's bad it's not that they're bad it's that they have never been prepared for this this whole time they have been playing mobile legends and only been playing against trash heroes or trash people and then you get up there and it's like a different level of people it's like a different level of heroes it's like yo that's double that's that's, that's like the skill gap just doubled and tripled so um yeah man but th that was my point that's why i think something big is coming to mobile legends a huge change is coming i'm seeing some of the same signs that i saw when this stun meta popped up man the stun meta popped up then the assassins mixed with the kind of stun meta <clears throat> like we've been in this assassin slash stunnish meta for so long but i feel like mobile legends is finally changing the meta that we're going to be in right now with this grounded effect i think grounded could be a lot bigger than people think it is when I, right now, when I bring up Grounded, people think that I'm just talking about one hero. It's not about one hero. It's about it's about what this hero represents and what what this um, skill effect represents. So um, hopefully this was this added some clarity. This gave you all some um, basically some information on how the game used to be and stuff like that. Um, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Do you think that it looks like it, it is shifting? Because yeah, that's what that's how I see it, man. This is the first time that i can recall that they've actually added a new skill effect and and like grounded since like they start adding all those stuns and that was like what over a year ago so let me know what y'all think make sure you drop that thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one fam peace out yo